Hey y'all, it's Melissa from The Little For The Kid. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about goals. Um, I'm going to be recapping my November goals and talking about how I did with them and then talking about my December goals because it's December. How did that happen? Um, anyway, so if you're a goal setter or maybe you're not a goal setter and you're thinking about being a goal setter um, and you're interested in hearing what I'm doing with my goal setting, then stick around. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melissa. I'm a homeschool mom of three kiddos and also you may be able to hear Hazel, the house pig, in the background. Um, she's very noisy and it's getting close to her Dinner. time so she's sticking closer than uh, a brother right now because she wants food. <laughs> they don't call them pigs for nothing, am I right? Anyway, so most of what you find on my channel is homeschooling content. Um, but I do put some other lifestyle mom kind of stuff on my channel and um, allergy life things, stuff like that. So if you are a mom or maybe a dad, a parent, and are interested in that sort of thing, then definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around. Um, I hope you'll stay a while and we can get to know each other. But um, if you did not catch it, this is sort of um, <clears throat> a video, a follow-up video to a video I did last month. I'll put it up here for you so you can check it out if you haven't. Um, where I did, for the first time ever, I did a goals video. Now, personally, I love watching other people's goals videos, but I had never done one myself because I'm not, I've never really been a goal setter. Not like in the sense of like writing them down and having specific, very specific goals. Um, but my life has gotten kind of crazy and it felt like I wasn't using my time efficiently and I wasn't getting things done that I felt like I needed to get done. And my life just sort of felt discombobulated. And so I was just watching one of my favorite YouTubers goal videos um, and thought, you know what, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to do a goal video on my channel because if nothing else, hopefully that would give me a little accountability um, so that maybe I'm more successful. <laughs> Um, but I also know myself and I wanted to be realistic. I have a lot going on in my life right now. And so I did not want to set goals that were not realistic and then be super disappointed at the end of the month because I like didn't do any of them or something like that. So I was trying to find this balance between um, setting some goals for some things that I really feel like needed to be accomplished in my life, but also not trying to reach for the stars and make them, you know, achievable goals. So just to recap, November, um, I put it in my planner. I used um, four different categories of goals and, um, you know, I feel like I did okay. I'm not super disappointed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I had seven goals and I definitely gave myself a check mark. Yes, you accomplished this goal in four out of those seven, which I feel good about. Two of those I like gave a check mark and an X because like, I feel like I did them, but I didn't do them well enough, if that makes sense. And then one of them was a total fail, total fail, total so my spiritual goal was to have a daily quiet time. That is um, one that I put an X and a check mark because I did okay, but I should have done better. Um, my personal goals were to establish a morning routine and stick with it and to establish a block schedule and stick with it. And I did both of those things. I'm very proud of myself. My homeschool goals were to be more consistent and to spend time outside, and the spending time outside was the total fail. Like, my kids spent time outside, which is good, so maybe I halfway achieved that goal, but I certainly didn't. Um, and then consistency, which we've been pretty consistent, especially given 
everything that we've got going on in life right now, I feel like we were pretty consistent. And also we were out of town for a week, so. Um, but yeah, I feel like we were pretty um, consistent, so that was good. My career goals were to film ahead for my channel, which I have done quite successfully. Um, hopefully I can keep that up. That definitely makes my life feel less hectic and less pressured. So that was good. And then one more where I put a check and an X was my daily mentor calls, which is a something that I'm doing with my doTERRA business. And um, as you can see, there are 50 of them. And um, I made it through. I actually haven't marked this one, but I did do call number 25 too. So I made it halfway through. And when I sat back and I looked at this and I was feeling a little disappointed about not achieving this goal. And then I really thought about it and I thought, man, that was really too lofty of a goal because, you know, there's 30 days, give or take, in a month. And I was asking myself to listen to 50 calls in 30 days, and that's a lot. Um, I don't think that was realistic. So I'm pretty happy with the fact that even though I didn't finish them, I did get halfway through them. Um, and 25 calls in, you know, a 30-day month um, is not too shabby. That's almost a call every single day of the month, right? So I feel like I did okay. So for my December goals, I did not write them down all pretty in my planner this time. That's a long story, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start doing that again in January, I think. But So my spiritual goal is to make sure that I'm following um, through with Advent um, this December, which our church um, gives out these Advent um, books every year and they have basically um, one devotional for every day in December and so this is going to be um, a goal that I set for myself spiritually this month to make sure that I do a devotional from this Advent book every single day in December. Um, my personal goal this month is to exercise at least three times a week. So I used to be a dancer and I used to be in really great shape and super healthy. Um, and you know, as you get older and you have kids and you get busy and you just don't dance anymore and things change and your metabolism slows down and you have babies and you gain weight. And anyway, I'm also chronically ill. And so exercise is a challenge for me for sure. Um, and I have a lot of dance injuries from the past that still sort of haunt me and make exercise difficult for me. Um, and so I've been struggling a little bit with my health. I don't mean like my weight necessarily. I mean more like being in shape, like not getting out of breath if I run a few feet or, you know, things like that. And um, so it is a necessity really that I try to get back into shape before I get so old that <laughs> it's impossible. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not calling myself old by any means, but I am in my forties and we all know that as we age, it gets harder to stay in shape. It just does. And so, um, so I don't want to wait any longer and make any more excuses for myself not exercising. And so I ordered a Peloton Ashley from Grace and Grit convinced me. I've been thinking that I wanted one, but when she did her one-year review on it not that long ago, that really uh, sealed the deal for me. So I did order a Peloton bike, and it's coming next week, and we'll see how I do. But again, I'm saying three times a week and not every day because I just don't want to be unrealistic and be disappointed because I couldn't keep, you know, because I couldn't achieve my goals because I just made them too lofty. So I want to be realistic. Eventually, maybe we can push it up to four or five or even seven days a week. But right now, I feel like three times a week is a realistic place to start for me. So Hazel just growled her approval. I feel sure it was approval. 
Um, so my homeschool goal is staying the same. I want to be consistent. I feel like it's especially difficult this time of year. The holidays make you want to not school. At least it makes us want to not school. Like we want to do all the fun things, um, and be lazy a lot of times. And, um, uh, especially because we take a fairly long break from co-op for the holidays. And I feel like when we don't have to go to co-op, like it changes our attitude a little bit about school. Like it's not quite as important this week to do school because we don't have co-op. I don't know. Does anybody else struggle with that? Um, we tend to be a little lazier on weeks we don't have co-op. And so next week is our last week of co-op until the end of January. So we, like I said, we have quite a long break from our co-op and um, I want to really keep pushing with the consistency, um, especially during this time when we're not having co-op and we're having holidays and holiday parties and things like that to make sure that we don't get lax. We have taken probably more holidays from school this fall than we normally do. And so, although I don't feel like we're behind necessarily in school, we definitely don't have a lot of wiggle room to take a lot of breaks right now. Um, so that being said, that is my homeschool goal for the month of December. I really want to be consistent and push through the holidays. Um, and I'm going to do another video, I think that'll go up soon about how, how we homeschool through the holidays and if it looks different for us and how it looks different for us. So, oh, sorry, I just kicked the table. It was an accident. Um, and so, anyway, we're gonna talk about that a little bit in another video. If you're interested in that, watch for that. That's coming soon. But that being said, we do wanna not get lazy in this holiday season when it comes to school because school is important and I find that when we take a break it's especially if we take a long break it's harder to get back in the swing of things so consistency and homeschool and then for my career goals um, I am definitely going to finish my 50 daily calls um, in the month of December, I feel very strongly that I can do that and manage that. One of the reasons I want to make sure that I'm finished with those um, at the end of December is because I'm planning um, a big business launch week in January. So um, I want to make sure that I have these done so that I can also plan my launch week. So that's another um, December goal. So I can make sure I'm planning this month um, to have that all set for next month and do everything that that entails to make that successful for my business. So there you have it. There are my December goals. They're not, like I said, they're not super lofty because I feel like making all these lofty goals and then not reaching them is just super discouraging and I don't wanna do that to myself. So I wanna be really realistic about what I can potentially accomplish and what I can't and make sure that um, my goals push me to do more than I would maybe if I hadn't made the goals, but I also don't want them to be unachievable because then you feel like you failed <laughs> at the end of the month. So tell me, what are your thoughts about goal setting and monthly goal setting specifically? Is that something you do, have done in the past? Um, I'm still feeling this out and trying to decide if like this is something I really wanna spend my time on. Like is it really making my month more productive? I feel like it did last month, but like I said, it was my first month doing it. So we're gonna see how December goes and I'm just gonna sort of go month to month on this right now. I am not making any kind of commitment to do this for any certain amount of time or anything like that because I don't think that's realistic for me. Um, but I am going to stick with it um, when I set goals at the beginning of the month, at least through the end of that month before I make a decision about the next month. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comments about setting monthly goals and how you do it. And do you have like categories or what do you do? Do you write them down? Do you put them on?
the wall. I don't know. I'm just really interested in what other people do in this area of goal setting. Hmm. So yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments below because I'm very interested in hearing other people's thoughts and viewpoints on this. Anyway, that is all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.